When students first enter the classroom on days we are working in centers, this is what they first see. Let me take you on a short tour. As always, and in the consistent space, the objective is listed. In today's case, students will be able to find missing lengths on similar figures. Directly beneath, students find exactly what is needed for center rotations that day. Today, they needed interactive notebook, pencil, and a positive attitude. I find this particularly beneficial because middle school students typically carry many books and belongings with them throughout the day. Simplifying the supplies and materials for class allows students to leave their belongings and backpacks along with the front of the classroom, which clears their desk of distractions while also making transitions much smoother and much more time efficient. To the right of this, on the smart board, students see the list of groups for that day. Students locate their name and can easily identify their starting station. The process of gathering the correct materials, finding their group, and beginning station work usually takes no more than one minute. Displaying this simple information helps with the management and time efficiency of beginning class. The first station set up along the side of my room is set up in pair or trio desks. As you can see by the materials I have laid out on the desks, I have included a list of tasks that students must complete as well as some of the supplies that they will need. The list of tasks on the desk allows students to identify exactly what should be completed as well as to stay on task throughout that time. At this station, I'd like to have students do some sort of real-world application of the course material. In this case, students are determining whether the book covers are proportional to each other by measuring them and completing some follow-up exercises. The second station is the iPad station. Here I have students work through Khan Academy exercises and videos. Again, the list of tasks and login path is listed out to make sure the transition process is smooth and simple. For schools that have limited technology, like mine, centers are helpful because it allows a whole class to work with as little as four iPads or other platforms. A quick suggestion for you. It is helpful for the students to have a folder or basket of students' login information for any technology or apps that they may use. Keep these in a consistent and accessible place during centers so that students can quickly log on and get right to the meat of the information. Finally, in the back of the classroom, I have set up for small group teacher instruction. I am fortunate to teach in a classroom that has whiteboards along the back closets. This allows us to display any key information, new concepts, or puzzling questions for discussion. As you can see, I only have between four and five students with me in small group instruction. By setting up the desks facing the back wall, this creates a more intimate space for our small group. It allows students to tru truly feel connected and included and give them a smaller setting to ask any questions they may have. Another benefit to having students face the back of the classroom is that from the teacher's view, which you'll soon see, I can observe all of my other students and keep an eye on each group. This helps the whole class stay on task while still allowing the teacher to be a part of the small group.
Ladies and gentlemen, take the last 30 seconds to wrap up. If you're on Khan Academy, you can log out and go ahead and rotate. Let's be in our seats in five, four, Three, two, one.